Hey recruiters, in this video I'm going to show you some of my favourite things about Lever's user interface and just how quick and easy it is to get crucial information about recru recruits that you're either you're working on or ones that your team members are working on. And this is particularly useful when it comes to one-on-ones or helping another team member or providing executive updates. Quick disclosure, this is a demo account, so none of this information is actually candidate information. Uh, I happen to be exploring Lever as an option as an ATS and I have access to a demo account. So jumping straight into it, I'm currently under the candidates tab and this is basically telling me all candidates uh, that I'm currently responsible for, for the roles that I'm working on. Um, and across here you can see that I'm currently under the leads section. So this, a lead would fall under someone that you might have recruited on LinkedIn or someone that you have been, uh, that someone has been referred to you or someone that you've maybe added manually. Uh, basically anyone that hasn't applied to the role directly. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, but it's basically telling me that I have 42 applicants uh, across all roles. And then here it's showing 28 interview, uh, people in the interview process across all roles. Now, obviously if you want to, uh, you know, uh, filter that information, it's very easy. I can just click the actual role, it'll be highlighted. It tells me how many people uh, are in the strategic uh, partnership manager pipeline and these are just applicants. If I wanted to see who was in the interview process, let's say I was giving a, an update to the hiring manager, I can just share screen and say, okay, I've got five people in the screening stage, uh, one at first interview, one at second interview. And if I really wanted to, uh, uh, you know, navigate the pipelines or, or provide an update, I could just say, oh yeah, Alexander and Vanessa were incredible. I'm actually gonna move them to the first interview stage. Let's say that you'd already done a screening. So that's just how easy it is to move um, pipelines or move candidates across certain pipelines. The other thing that's really useful is you can also go to all owners. So if I wanted to see, you know, if I was leading a talent acquisition team and I want to see just how everyone's doing or again, provide an executive level update, I could just go to all owners and I can see, okay, I've got 277 applicants across all of the different roles and across all of the different recruiters and I've got 52 people interviewing and again this is great for an exec update if you want to say look I've got we've got 16 people in second interview 17 in sec in first interview and that's just kind of a pulse of how busy we are or I've got three offers you know for the one for the financial analyst one for the account manager one for the BD rep um, and that just gives you uh, a quick pulse of what's going on. What I find really helpful is the ability to sort by owner. So if I quickly sort by owner here, it's basically going to tell me um, everyone, uh, if I hit, click show all, uh, it will show me um, who's working on what, but also I can get a very quick snapshot on who might need help. So if I look at uh, this just now, I can see I've got Angel, Corey, Helena, and um, let's, uh, uh, let's say all these people were reporting into me. If I clicked applicant, I would be able to see, okay, who's maybe got the, the, the most applicants? And in, and when you're actually recruiting, sometimes this is in the hundreds per role. So let's say if uh, Helena needed help, um, or if I was having a one-on-one -on -one with Helena, I could say, Helena, you've got um, you know some, some applicants in the talent acquisition manager, like do you need help with that pipeline? Or I could even click interview. And I could see immediately, oh, okay, Helena, there's no interviews for a director of IT, recruiting coordinator, or talent acquisition manager. Like, do you need help? What are your challenges? So that's very helpful in a one-on-one -on -one situation where you want to see how your team member's doing. Also, what's really great is, let's say if I clicked Angel's positions, and um, Angel, you know, was went, was off on sick or had a family emergency, was going to be away for a few days. I could just quickly go to Angel's uh, roles, click them all, and find out, you know, twelve people in the interview process, and I could email them all. I could just click all, um, select sorry, select all across all roles for a particular recruiter, and just say send a quick note and say, hey, like my team member on behalf of my team member, I apologize. They're currently off sick, we'll be returning in a few days, we'll get back to you, but there's gonna be a delay in communication. Um, so that's also what I really like, like about Lever. Again, you can also um, sort by uh, team name. So if I had recruiters work, if I had a recruiter that was working, uh, sorry, two different recruiters working on multiple roles of the one department, um, I could easily go to that department um, and pull up the information. So let's just say, you know, I had one recruiter working on a sales engineer and another working on a senior sales engineer which wouldn't be likely but let's say you did then it's very easy for me to sort that out and I can just click sales engineering and tell the hiring manager 
this is who you have in the pipeline and these are the applicants. Um, so that's just another way of kind of organizing the information. But uh, those were just some quick things about how, what I like about Lever's user interface, interface and uh, some use case scenarios of how you might access that information. Uh, if you have any questions about what I've shown you in this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments. If you're exploring Lever as an option, I'm happy to give you a recruiter to recruiter perspective on, on a system that I've used um, for quite a few years. So thanks for watching and goodbye.